All right. Um, so I just wanted to show everybody. I'm not sure if uh, you know how to do this already or not. Most of you probably don't know since you've been searching uh, probably YouTube all day trying to figure out how to export multiple bodies at the same time. It's really hard if you have a good bit of bodies like here. You know, I've got, I don't know, maybe 20 different ones. Um, the numbers are off just because I've merged a good bit of them. So we are in Fusion 360. Um, it's the newest version out as of uh, February 27th, 2000, or yeah, 2020. Um, so basically what you want to do, it's pretty simple. Once I figured it out, had to do some scourging around on the internet. Um, so anyway, we'll get down to it. You'll right click up here on your top part. Mine says unsaved because I haven't saved this yet, but it'll be whatever your file name is. And you're going to select new component. Um, now when you do this, it's not going to have a body folder. Um, but you got all these bodies up here that you're wanting to put in this component folder. So if you just click on the first one and hold down the shift key and click on your last body, it'll select all your bodies that you've got. Now, you click on any one of them and just click and hold it like you're going to click and drag something and drop it right on top of the component. Now, when you do this, it'll create another body folder inside this component. So, we're almost done. It's, it's seriously this simple. I don't know why I didn't figure this out before. Um, but you right-click on your component, save as STL. Now, there's two different options. Uh, under structure, you're going to see one file or one file per body. Um, what everybody that's coming here for is probably one file per body. That way you have uh, multiple bodies inside of your slicer program. Um, I use Prusa Slicer because I have all Prusa uh, 3D printers. So if you're wanting one file where you can't uh, get all these different bodies in there and it's all just combined as one, you can do that as well, but for now we're going to do the one file per body, and I always, I always leave it on high. You can change this. Click OK. Um, so I made a test folder earlier when I was doing this, and we'll just make another one. I suggest making it making a folder because um, it's going to create separate files for every single body inside that component. So I'm just going to call it tests uh, test two. So we'll go inside the folder here. Now it's showing right here is component1.stl as a single file. When you click save, it is going to create multiple files. And I'll show you that here in just a second. So we go to our test2 folder. And here they are. Um, it's got all your different bodies available. Now I'm going to import this into Prusa Slicer. I just shift clicked um, so I can select them all and then drag it over. And of course, if you're using a MMU, uh, you'll just hit yes so that you have multiple parts. And then you can go through and select all your different parts. Now, if you want it as a single body, um, it's super simple. Again, like I said, once you do the steps that I showed you earlier to put the bodies down underneath your component, You'll right click on component, click save as STL, and then you'll just click on one file. Click OK. And I'm going to make a new folder. I'm going to delete these after. But now this will save it as just one file. So we'll go under the test 3 folder. And there's your single file. So we'll pull it back up. Drop it in. And there's your single file. Hope this helps. Uh, if it helps you, hit the like button. I don't have a very big YouTube channel. Um, I would like to keep uploading some stuff to help people out. So if, if, you, if this helped you out, you got any comments, uh, comment, like, subscribe, whatever you'd like to do. Thanks.